Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out an Ableton Live 10 tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. So in this video, we're looking at the unison modes inside of Wavetable, the new <laughs> Wavetable synth inside of Live 10. Now, the unison modes, I think, are the what are the they're kind of like those little anytime I go through a new synth, I usually find these little nuggets that are kind of just interesting, they're just unique to the synth. And I really like these unison modes. I think they can have a bunch of impact on sounds with just a click of a button. So there are six different modes, and what the modes are essentially doing, they are going to be telling Wavetable how to spread out the voices from where within the phase to play those voices, and even do some offset things with the actual Wavetable itself, right? And they sound really different from each other. So I have a quick demo worked up to showcase this. Right, so let's mute the other tracks real quick. And we just have Wavetable now up here, the top track. So this sound is just two oscillators. I'm gonna make it almost full screen. It is a vintage sloppy saw inside of oscillator one. And then it is essentially just the basic saw sound in oscillator two. Now I have a low pass filter and I have the uh, filter frequency being modulated by envelope one. So I had it set to the noise unison engine. Let's take it to classic real quick. I'm gonna turn off the effects that I had on after it. I had a glue compressor, EQ8, and FabFilter Pro R. So that's the classic, and then here's Shimmer. So I'm not changing voice counts. I'm not changing the amount of detune. Here's noise. There's phase sync. And then we have position spread. And finally we have random note. Right, so all six have very, very unique sonic character. So let's talk about what they're actually doing. All right, so I have turned off oscillator one with the vintage sloppy saw. Now it's just the basic saw. And uh, the first mode is classic. Now this one is, it's kind of interesting because it doesn't sound exactly like what you'd expect a quote unquote classic un unison and detune engine to sound like. If you just load up silent, for instance, and compare it or massive and add some voices of unison and detune, this still has a little different timbre to it. So what's going on behind the scenes is the oscillators are detuning the amount of voices you give it with equal spacing between those voices and your center voice. And it's also alternating the stereo channel. It's panning some of the, the detuned voices back and forth, which gives it a really unique tone. So let's check that out. All right, so you can clearly hear the alternating stereo voices. So that is the classic mode in the Unison engine. Now next is Shimmer, and this is one of my favorite ones. It's just got such a cool sound. It's kind of like a reverb type sound. Right, so sounds a little bit different. Let's talk about what it's actually doing to the unison voices. So with Shimmer, the oscillator pitches that are being generated by the unison mode of the unison engine, they're, uh, they're, the pitches themselves are moving around. I believe the uh, manual mentioned or used the word jittered, which I thought was interesting. Um, jitter usually is like a kind of a, a pretty cool, it's like tweaking or it just has an interesting connotation, right? So it's moving around in kind of an unpredictable way. And that's what gives it its shimmering quality, thus the reverb quality. So let me play a single note so we can hear that. It's kind of harder to pick out where the change is taking place or where it's alternating, where, it's, where the movement's occurring. With the classic, it's quite easy to listen to it for a while and then be able to predict where it's going to happen. Duh, duh there right it's happening right there right so you can really predict when the alternating uh stereo field is taking effect not so much with the shimmer all right let's go to the next one the noise now this is my personal favorite
So you can get similar effects in, say, like Serum or other synths where you where you modulate the coarse pitch, the fine pitch of an oscillator with an incredibly fast LFO. That's kind of what this sounds like to my ears. And so it has a similar jittery type effect going on to the pitches of the sound, but just like the shimmer mode, but it's much faster. I think it is really cool. So that's that's my favorite one. Let's go on to the next one, which is called Phase Sync. So this one is for sure the most self-explanatory one. It is syncing the phase or the trigger, the, the phase is being triggered of all the voices. So that's why you get kind of that little click tick or that pop at the beginning of a note. <laughs> be helpful for bass sounds and just sounds that you want to be you know very predictable like like dunk or kind of like a plunk basses that sort of stuff uh, now this is in, in terms of what the actual unison engine itself is doing I believe it's just the classic but there's no offset with the uh, phases that are being triggered it's just happening at the same time right let's go on to the next one which is position spread and this is Probably my second or third favorite one. There's three that I really like. Um, this one is really, really chill sounding. So this sounds a lot less of a straight up unison effect than the other other ones I've heard. And what's going on is it's actually applying some spread to the position within the wavetable, which is kind of an interesting idea. Um, the, it's actually taking the wave tail position and spreading out that the voice is near that position the best I can understand and it's applying a little bit of detune to it that's why I think it's great for chill sounds for chords for pads for leads where you want a subtle type of unison effect unison voice feeling but you don't want to you know have a typical you know super saw type sound for instance or super square or whatever you're doing it's a really cool <laughs> It's just got a really cool sound. So let's go to the final mode, which is called Random Note. So as the name would suggest, there's some random, <laughs> randomized element going on. The position of the wavetable or within the wavetable, as well as the amount of detuned unison voices, they're kind of being randomized every time you trigger a note. Now, that's important because... As you heard with the phase sync, if unison and detune gets too robotic and gets, you know, the, everything happens at the exact same time, it's a very specific sound. I personally don't find it very pleasing. There's only a, a small amount of situations where I'd actually want to use that type of sound. And that's not just a knock on wavetable. That, that exists in almost every synth that has unison and, and a detune. But this random note one is just musical in the terms of it just sounds good to the ear. So if you guys have the uh, Live 10 right now and you, if, you're, if you're waiting to upgrade and you you know start messing around the wavetable, don't forget about these different unison modes. There's probably three or four. I really like them. I actually see myself going to wavetable when I'm using Ableton as you know re almost a replacement for sound from like my just kind of bread and butter super saw sounds or unison sounds because these different modes are awesome. I really like shimmer. I like noise like position spread, and random note too. So there you guys go. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.